All right, I'm here with our resident sick expert, uh, Dr. Evan, and we're going to talk about, I guess, sick stuff. Six. Uh, first off, we got ourselves a, a model comparison here, yeah. and you can see... I mentioned how close they looked. The Gazanti and the Sea Rock. Like I said, the, in the lore, the Sea Rock is supposed to be like a retrofitted Gazanti, or maybe yeah. the Gazanti is a retrofitted Sea Rock. I think... The, yeah. the ships are definitely related. Now, what's interesting is the first Gazanti that actually shows up in the lore shows up in uh, one of those movies that doesn't exist. Yes. Yeah, the first movie that doesn't yes. exist. And you can it's, yes. see a brief shot over Tatooine, and it looks practically just like mm -hmm. this one right here. Uh, that thing came out. They started using it in Rebels with the ships docked under it. Yeah. All in all, like, like frankly, between the two of them, that's the much cooler ship. It's not even yes. close. Especially when you stick some TIE fighters on it. Yeah, you stick some TIE fighters on that. That's awesome. I was really hoping... Six would sit under there. That would be great. Wouldn't yeah. that be cool? That would be much better. We don't get that. Um, It's got a... Oh, I thought it moved. It doesn't even rotate. No, I don't think any of them do. No. It's got a dish, and I was hoping we get some Millennium Falcon flip or rotate <laughs> action, but no, it's just... No, we are not it's that It's just lucky. there. Look at it. Can't wait to get broke off either. Oh, yeah. Well, most of these yeah. little widgets. Now, I will say the paint job on this is pretty sharp. Yes. Ours could use a bit more wash on the containers. They look like they've just been flat painted and missed a wash, but the front looking all beat up the way it does. Mm -hmm. uh, the engines are all torn up looking. The All the red lines on it are really sharp. It's a good looking model. It definitely, the beat upness of it does give it a, a good comparison to the Imperial Gonzanti, which is straight clean lines. Yeah, everything. very clean looking by mm -hmm. comparison. Um, well, let's talk about the new SICK model too while we're at it. What do you what do you think of that with, with your uh, SICK expertise? Uh, yes. Uh, I honestly like this SICK very much more than the other ones. Um, mostly because it's done away with the nasty green color that a lot of early scum ships have uh, been imbued with. It is like baby poop baby green. Poop. It's terribly. Yeah, then the Kirax as well. Um, yeah, that one's gross looking yeah. too. Kirax looks, uh, I think the Kirax takes, because they got the same paint scheme, this weird... Mm -hmm. I, really, that <laughs> baby puke green color. <laughs> uh, uh, that I mean, the purple and the green on here are, are just fighting to be the like. Which one's the worst color? Yes. Um, the Kirax pulls it off a lot better. Yes, yes, it does. This is pretty yeah. ugly looking. But no, um, this guy with the racing stripes down there and yeah, and, and he's, the color upgrade, and they've gone with more of like an olive drab for yeah, the green. It yeah. looks a lot better, much better looking. Yeah, too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and buy six of these silly things to fly a whole swarm of these guys. No, but no. I might be persuaded to, I mean, I've been persuaded to paint a ship in the past. I, yeah. I might be persuaded to do that. I don't know what company sells because they're still using that god-awful purple, which does go much better with the... Yeah, it's it's a little bit more red. It's not even quite an olive drab. It's almost like a doughboy... Yeah, yeah, khaki. -ish. Khaki. It's, it, it, it's much nicer looking is the point. So, let's get at the cards that matter. I mean, really, yeah, people play Epic, but... We're we're talking, we're here for tournaments, right? Yes. We want hundred point games on the table mm -hmm. right now. These are the cards that matter. So, first off, let's talk about pulsed ray shield. Good, there's a copy for each of us, Ooh. and and some more. I'll make it rain or something. <laughs> rebel and scum only, which is interesting. Could you? Is there any rebel ship that only has one shield? Uh. The hawk, the hawk has one. Hawk has one. Okay, you can put it on a hawk. On a hawk. Very exciting times for the hawk. <laughs> Are we going to see a hawk resurge, a, a rebel hawk resurgence in the meta? Hey, there no. was a hawk in the last world. There was a hawk in the last Just world. But, but, but there was a scum hawk, that wasn't it? It was a scum hawk, but, but there it's was different. a hawk. It was Palop. Palop sees play. Yes. We're not going to see, sorry, like, I, I love Dark Forces. Yeah. I love Kyle Katar. Oh, but no. I love, I love, uh, uh, Jin Orsa was probably one of my first... Not Jen Orso. Sorry, Jan Ors. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of my first crushes when I was little. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, but with mocap, terrible, terrible video games. Mocap <laughs> acting. Whatever. Um, probably this isn't going to save either of those pilots. No. Lord, no. No. During the end phase, you may receive one ion token to recover one shield, and you can equip this card only if your shield value is one. Two points. The only thing I can see, if this goes on to sick, especially now it is on the art. Mm -hmm. is you eye on yourself for the one forward you don't have on your dial. Okay, there you go. Um, I was also thinking, actually, if I'm going to put this on anything, it probably is going to be Polop. Because mm -hmm. then, I mean, if, if Polop takes a one forward, 
He's got a TLT probably. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. His possession positioning doesn't matter. He's just zipping through. Mm-hmm. He's probably still going to be at range two to steal somebody's token. He's probably yeah. still going to be two to three to TLT somebody. Him ironing himself doesn't matter. One of these fighters where their arcs matter, like a Kyrax, mm-hmm. that's probably not no, smart. Not on a Kyrax. No. So, I don't know. Two points? Uh, Well, with the new Kyrax title coming out in the future, it will be one point. Yeah, that's a bit better. Although, so, if a Kyrax gets Ion, he's... Probably... Probably dead. Yeah. That one shield's not going to save him. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. I think two points, I, I, I legitimately think... This is over costage. Uh, yeah. yeah. Although, I don't think they wanted to give it free. Yeah. Well, and that, Depending so, on how much planning they have. So, that's the other thing. Let's, I was, I was going to get to this later. Let's get to the light sick interceptor right now, right? Yes. So, I, I knew... So, all damage cards dealt to your face up. That's That sucks. It is. But they only got two hull, so really it's one damage card is dealt to you face up, and then the second one doesn't matter, you're dead anyway. But you get your bank screen. Yes, which is... Its banks are already green. It adds yeah. two green maneuvers. Two if this added, like, all your two speeds are green and it gave it, like, a green hard, oh, yeah. I could totally see this having value. Or turned it into a tight advanced prototype. One hearts. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Do six have one hearts? I think they do, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But as is, you get two green banks. Mostly you're here for the, for the point cost reduction. Minus two points. We talked about this a mm-hmm. lot. How, like... Yeah, it's... Like like a tie swarm, it's not meta. No, it's not a great list. No, but it's never been a bad list. Mm-hmm. If you just put eight ships on the field and throw dice at things, it's, you're gonna do okay. Yeah, I mean, the certain ships, certain comps are gonna blow you out of the water, but I guarantee any tournament you could show up with eight tie fighters and do all right. Mm-hmm. You could show up with seven tie fighters and Hell Runner and, and probably do pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. um, for sure. So. That's essentially is, is now you can do that with Skull. Y- yes, Here, except you don't have Howl Runner. Yeah, you don't have Howl. You have Sarasu, but it's not the same. Howl no. Runner's not. <laughs> no. Howl Runner's much better than Sarasu. Yes, we're rolling a green. Eh. Two attack dice ships that have problems putting out damage. You want Howl Runner's better. Yeah. Period. You want every die to be a hit. Yeah. The other issue is if you want to fly a six one, you can't do wait. Unless you buy two of these. True. They do so, give you a whole bunch of them, which give is you, impressive. They That's, give you six. Yes. And you could probably come up with a pretty okay list with six light six and like a bunch of these named pilots, which we're going to dive into in just a little bit. Mm-hmm. And that sounds... All right, all I right. guess. Um, yeah. It is a bummer. They, I mean, like, you can't have eight and they only give you six. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to buy another one. No. No, I mean, you're not going to buy another one for... I'm not. I'm not going to buy it. No. Not for not for a six form, certainly. Not for that paint job. Either. <laughs> if I had to, if I if I did fold and mm-hmm. buy another one just to fly eight of them, which I'm, yeah. I'm probably not even going to do. That's you know that's not even really my no, style. No. Um, having two of these guys would pretty much force me to paint the rest of them. Yes, absolutely. So that's well, a lot of work too. And this is an interesting thing going back again to the Katanti. We got two Tie Fighters with it. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? I don't know. Also, seriously, ordnance tubes. Origin ordnance tubes is super good. Use that. And the Thai pilots in there. Didn't you get like chasers in there? Uh, uh, chasers in there. Uh, Wampa. Wampa's in there. Scourge is in there. There's some really yeah. good pilots in there. They definitely improved the damage output of a Thai fighter pretty heavily. Yes. Um, in comparison to the sick pilots that they released. Are we? We're trying to sell this thing right now, aren't we? Hypothetically, yes. I think it would Although be... we could buy a bunch of Gonzantes. Which is, yeah. <laughs> really? Like, we got a bunch of these. Come on in and buy them. But um, we'll get a bunch of these, too. You should definitely... It's it's probably the better ship. Mm-hmm. Probably the better thing in general. All right. So we've done Light Sick. We've done Pulsed Ray Shield. Let's talk about this Arc Caster. This one's interesting. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. For two points, it's not bad, and it does fill a slot of a two-point cannon. Oh, I didn't even catch that earlier. It's only range one. Only range one. Um, so on the sick, you're competing uh, with rockets if you're going to be a only ranged one thing. Or, also, or auto blasters. Auto blasters. Which I I know you've actually shown up at a tournament here with a bunch of six with auto blasters. Yes, I did. How did it that was, How did that do for you? Oh, it was very fun. 
Um, most <laughs> six are fun. Fun. Um, but they're not, well, they're not going to be a tier one. Like, like Dwarf Fortress is fun. Yes. Uh, uh, now, if you if you roll your dice right, a bunch of six with auto blasters will eat through yeah. pretty much anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, how'd you do in the tournament? Uh, poorly at that one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So... So it's range one, man. If it, see, it, I thought this was when I first picked it up. I didn't no, even look at the range. No. If this was range one to three. Shoot every other round. I could see using it. Now, granted, if it's only range one, you're probably not going to have a shot the second round with it anyway. No, you are hopefully going to be flying past them, doing maybe a five k. Yeah. So I, sick. I guess the penalty of the whole flip card thing, it's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be. No, it it does work. It is effectively turning the six into mini corn horns kind of yeah uh, i kind of I, I think i made that yes, sort of same thing yes. earlier so um, corn gets two the big issue is, is that this is a a four point upgrade yes and you're also and then you're competing with well it's a two point upgrade it's a two point upgrade but you have to take heavy sick which so puts it's a four you in point upgrade. direct com- competition with every other munition cannon and missile in the game yeah uh, how much is Mangler Cannon again? Four. And you can fit five Mangler Cannon six. Yeah. And they would probably do better Yeah. than five, because you can't fit six of them in there. No, you can't. It's not quite enough. Nope. You could do five and probably, you could squeeze some better pilots in there. You could. And now that there are more better, because I mean, yes. before, would you have like... Late Tanishera, which I know you've had some luck with Late Tanishera. Yes, but that, uh, I have good green dice. We should talk about that. So Late Tanishera, because <laughs> uh, I'm just throwing names out. Yeah. I'm name dropping. Yeah. Like at that time I met P. Diddy. <laughs> never met P. I've, I've never met P. Diddy. Uh, Late Tanishera, uh, she gets a free evade token every time she's missed by an attack. Mm-hmm. He's had some really good luck with her. She's really obnoxious to shoot down sometimes. So, I mean, you know. You could fit like, I mean, because you're five Mangler c- Cannon six, they're more or less naked, right? Uh, they have the Mangler Cannons and the Heavy Six Upgrade, and that's it. But no named pilots, no. no. Okay. No. So, yeah, I mean, you could you could switch to Arc Casters and then. Put the named ones in. Yeah, put a couple named ones in. Yeah. I still think. How much is Auto Blaster Cannon? I'm going to have to look it up. Um, because that's mainly what I'm looking at. Like, like four dice every other round. But eh, only at range one. Three dice, and you can't evade it. Can't evade it. That seems a lot better, right? Let's look this up real quick. Real quick. You can fit four with auto blasters in. I know that. So it's enough to bump yeah. it down from five. Cartel, let's get a cartel spacer up. Put a heavy sick on there, which it says I don't have any of. Whatever. Add a cannon slot. No. This app's terrible. It's a good app, by the way. Buy it. Uh, yeah, it's five points for an auto blaster cannon. Which brings about the what? Uh oh, hold on. Um, Just... That brings a a cartel spacer bare minimum twenty one points. So for twenty three, you have a cartel spacer with a heavy heavy laser cannon. Yeah, which is nasty, very nasty. And then your minimum attack die is three because you're not shooting HLC at range one. Obviously. No, but you still got a halfway decent attack at range yeah. one. Yeah, I've, I've considered flying uh, an Asajj with a couple of heavy laser kits. People, for a while, it was the, mm-hmm. I don't know, Paul Heaver took it to a tournament once where he's going to do, like, two TLT Ys mm-hmm. and Asajj. And I was like, that sounds interesting, but I think I'd rather give me a couple of heavy laser cannons, six, because I don't, I hate TLTs. They're the worst thing that's yeah. ever happened in this game. Don't buy them. We're out of K-Wings. Are we out of K-Wings? We are out of K-Wings. Aha! Although they'll be I'm coming out on the new TIE Fighters, and you will not be safe yeah. anymore. Yeah, I'll, I will not be safe anymore. So I don't know how I feel about this thing. They are caster. Overall, <sighs> I think it's another cannon that will not see very much play. I think that's probably safe. And, you know, it might be like Mind Link, where everyone thinks it's crap, and then like a year later, it's the entire it's, meta. It is. But for now, you know, it does kind of do... It does give you like a built-in ruthlessness. Yes. But the problem is, the, I think you're more likely to hurt yourself. yourself. Yes. And it is one damage. And if you're flying it, lights, like, if you have a light sick in your squad, you could conceivably blow yourself up with your own shot if you're pairing yes. them up. Yes, because it's like uh, 7 out of 33 are uh, direct hits. You've actually got a decent chance of accidentally blowing up your light sick wingman. Yes. So... Well, I mean, that's hilarious. I think everybody... Which should... would be very funny. 
Yeah. But. Well, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you give it a couple of months, Justin will have a list where they've, oh, you, oh, no. no. They, 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 they dropped down to 12 points. Yeah, but I was thinking he'd have a list where they all had, uh, like, half of them had art casters, the other ones were lights, and they'd all have dead oh, man yeah, switches. Oh, yeah, no, you can't do that. But they don't have, they don't have a list that's lost. So that's it with that. So my beef with the sick has always been, it's supposed to be the scum interceptor, right? But it doesn't have boost, so it's not a very good interceptor. Nope. And it doesn't have an illicit slot, so it's not a very good scum ship. Well, it's and much it's, much prettier now, though. What I, I always have to compare the sick to is a Tie Fighter, of course, of course. which is a has the same greens. Mm -hmm. It has a five strength. Yeah, this so thing only goes to four, right? It only goes to four, so it's faster. Yeah, than an interceptor. It has the same. Barrel roll, but does have target lock. Doesn't have target lock, obviously. Other than that, it's the same exact. Uh, yes, and ability and bar. Significantly better pilots. Yes, even with the new pilots that we've been which provided, we're going to get to in just a second. Um, honestly, if any of these pilots were on the sick, it would vastly improve the sick. Better support too, because because like I said, How Runner again is. It's not even close how much how are so much better than Sarah Sue. But even even still, like Dark Purse, good pilot. Get, I mean, mini Omega Leader. Yeah, it's not bad. Visago, I've even watched Rebels. I know who this guy is. I still can't <laughs> pronounce his name. So at the start of the end phase, you may discard this card. The important part to replace a face up illicit card you have mm. equipped with another upgrade card of the same type of equal or fewer squad points. What do you think? I am conflicted on this. Um, well, he's I, zero points. That's worth he is pointing zero out. Points. He's free, so but he is a crew. So there's you're yeah. not going to get. Well, he's, there's a lot of competition for that slot. There is a lot of competition for that slot, especially in scum. Especially in scum. Scum um, has some of the best crew in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, for sure. Dengar, uh, yeah, K4, yeah, like four of them now. Even, yeah. you know, even outlaw know. tech's yeah. good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But outlaw uh, tech might be. Uh, it's not get you sidetracked. Anyway. My issue with this is that everyone wants to put him on a ship and then switch that, do the, the switch route device. with the cloaking device. Yeah. Which works with a number of ships. Now, I suspect most of these people have not flown Phantoms before. No. And four green dice is very good. But the first time your ship that you've invested, especially in a Phantom, 40 plus points, goes away in one hit yeah. to a nobody... Yeah. Is the last time that you say, ah, cloaking devices is a guaranteed not It's death. not guaranteed. Now, but I mean, so really, really what this combo is for, the whole yeah. uh, Viz Vizago, mm -hmm. whatever, it's for Palop. Yes, it is. It's specifically, people want to give Palop four green dice so he can be obnoxious for like an extra turn. Yes. Um, um, and it, it will bring out the longevity in him, but it's not. Well, and you're giving up. Your TLT shots. Yes. You're now, granted, you don't have to put a TLT on him then. No, but you save points. You TLTs are else. TLTs are really good. So if he's only be around for a couple of rounds, I mean, that's going to buy him two more rounds tops. Tops, unless your green dice are hot. Yeah, really hot. Because I mean, it doesn't even have an evade. I mean, you got to focus, but yeah. eh, I don't know. I don't know. Not super impressed by that. W when this first came out, I said, uh. Oh, so I can replace my glitter stim for a glitter stim of equal or lesser glitter, right? Because nine times out of ten, you give me an illicit slot, what am I going to put in it? Glitter stim, it's practically one of the only decent ones. I mean, Burnout Slam's halfway decent. Yeah. Black Market Slicer Tools turned out to be not nearly as good as everybody thought they were going to be. No, it lurks around in the back, but doesn't do anything special. Yeah. Uh, discard to replace a face-up. Yeah. Yeah. Jabba the Hut. Very interesting card. Two crew slots. Two. When you equip this card, place one illicit token on each illicit upgrade card in your squad. Whole squad. Mm -hmm. When you're instructed dis to discard an upgrade card, you may discard one illicit token on that card instead. Five points, two crew slots. What do you think? I have the issue that he can only go on one ship. Yep. And that is a 34-point minimum ship. Yeah, him yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, tra Trained Ocean Slaver starts at 29. Yep. It's the only scum ship with more than one crew slot, so it's mm -hmm. the only one he can't fit on. So we're going to have a 34-point investment just to put Jabba on the field. And he's not, he's certainly no Palpatine. No. 
No, no. Uh, I mean, this is this is good. It's Glitter, good. Glitter stem twice. I mean, yeah. well, glitter stem four times on Asajj. You could. But. You could. Or um, you could burn out Slam? No, it doesn't. Does it work like that? Yeah, but no, Slam's a discard. Yeah, it should yeah. work like so, that. So, yeah, you could slam twice with Bosk. I guess. But the problem is, is you're really going to want to load a Trandoshan Slaver up with the party bus. And yeah. he absorbs your whole party bus thing. So now the Trandoshan Slaver is just 34 points of just blow just, me up. Yeah, just Jabba the Hutt. Now, granted... That's twelve hit points. It is twelve hit points. And they are hard to three find. attack dice and one eighty degree arc. It's it's better than a lambda. Yes, by oh, a lot. Yes, yes. but, but it costs like two lambdas. Yes, like I mean, what's palp work out to? Twenty nine points. Something like lambda? that. I think is twenty one on the base lambda. I don't know. Where's my phone? Let's let's double check that real quick. Um, so let's get in here. Where's my lambda? Uh, twenty one points for an omicron, mm-hmm. and, and then palp's out. another eight. 29 points. So... So for the price of the base Trandoshan Slaver, you have a Palp Shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, granted, I, the Trandoshan... It's, it's a much better ship. Yes, it is. It so, is. maybe... I mean, you could still fit Dengar on there, and it wouldn't be totally useless. No, it wouldn't be terrible, but you got 30 points into a Trandoshan Slaver, and 40 to 50 points into Dengar, yeah. and then... You fly a light stick next to them. I think it's going to see a lot more use in Epic, obviously. Oh, for sure. Because you put them on this thing, more likely to stick around for a little bit longer, maybe. Or actually, you know what? You put it on one of your six Trandoshan Slavers. As many Trandoshan that, Slavers as you can feel. That's how you play Scum Epic. Just, it's a, slavers. Seriously, 29 points. It's a really point-efficient shift for what you get for it. But I don't I don't think this is going to be... I mean, you've you got to put... It's like, if you compare it to, like, Bosk, which is the main slaver... Yeah, that is flow. I definitely wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother putting him on no. Bosk because Bosk needs better support than that. Yes, so he's not going to fly on that. You're going to absorb a third or more of your list. Yeah, to put him on a shuttle when he's not as good as Palpatine. Yeah, yeah, and and the current like what like Dengar tell Alpha Strike meta cannot fit him in. Eat him, well, I'm saying that they'd eat him alive. Oh, yeah. One evade dice. Well, not granted, 12 hit points. No, so would, we're looking at like... take a couple torps. Three, four hits. Yeah. You got really generous green dice. You're looking at four missiles. But they got four missiles. They do. Uh, but they don't need four missiles to kill you. They could just kill you with their primaries. Because even tells two dice attack will yeah. reasonably put damage through everything. Yeah. Yeah, reasonably. So, yeah, that's... It's harsh. Unless... Until now, they release a... You did show up. With a three trained ocean slaver did. list, Which how did you do? Well. Yeah, how did you do that? Got time, yes, right? That was excellent. Although one of the trained ocean slavers was loaded up with the party bus, typical party bus. That was before the Zuckus. It right? was before the Zuckus. But yeah. I mean, I don't know. You you had the points because we were figuring out what to do. You had like ten points extra. Yeah, and you kind of loaded the other ones out. I think we put outlaw text outlaw on text them. on them, and the focus no. on the stop is oh, really good. It's, it's, so I mean, if you could have fit job in that, well, no, that. I say if you could have put job in that list, would you have done it? But you, no. you were using uh, burnout slams, and you only needed to use them ever once or game, so it wasn't yeah. a big deal. So yeah, guess not. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be the game changer people were expecting it to be. I think you'll see it a lot in Epic, but hundred point matches. We need a ship with two crew slots or a yeah. cheap ship with two crew slots, yeah. or it's just it's just not going to happen. Yeah, so you spend your five points better on the Trend Ocean Slaver. All right, so let's get the Tansari point veteran out. PS five. And an elite pilot talent for 17. Yeah. And the Cartel Spacer, PS2, no elite pilot talent, 14. This is our basis of comparison Yeah, for all of these new guys. We'll go one at a time. Sonny Bounder. I like Sonny Bounder. I don't think he's he's never going to be in a tier one list. It's no. Absolutely impossible. But if you're at a local store or something like that, he could. he's going to be a very fun ship to fly around in every once in a while poo-poo someone's Omega Leader Parade yeah. out of nowhere. Well, actually, actually, that'd be a dice modification. If Omega's got oh, unlocked, true. you can't do it. It's true. Yeah. But well, someone still, else is... Still, I mean, you roll two red dice, like, like flat out, if you roll three green dice, you're much more likely to see three blanks and add another blank than you are to add another evade. Yeah. That's not... I mean, statistically, that's rough. But, I mean, two red dice, you got a uh, 25% chance they're both hits? Yeah. On your first roll. That's no, it, like, re-rolls aren't even going into it yet. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I want to know, 
Once per round, after you roll or re-roll dice. So if I roll a hit and a focus, and I spend the focus token... Hmm, no, I don't believe it works that way. I don't know either. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm I'm almost 100% sure that it does not work that way. I don't know either. Um, because I read... Target locks. Yeah, uh, target locks. Um, if you had all focuses, you can add another focus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's not super likely. Uh, focus is two and eight, so yeah, you're looking yeah, at... much like 12 and a half, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Seven, five? So so a quarter, so one in 16 of rolling two eyeballs? Mm, it, it could happen. happen. It, could it happen. does happen. You know, play enough X-Wing, it'll happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. For 14 points, he's well, the exact same cost as a cartel spacer. Yes. He's one PS lower, but I mean, this two's not doing him any favors. Frankly, no. frankly, if you got something that low, you're looking at using it as a blocker anyway, and he'll just block better? Yeah, the issue is, if you're looking to put a sick in that's going to do real damage, the cartel spacer with a cannon is the way to go. Yeah. He's yeah. never going to roll, well, I won't say never. Yeah, not never. But with his HLC, you're not likely to roll four hits. No. But, I mean, you know, you spend your target lock to re-roll. True. I mean, it could happen. It could and happen. actually, I mean, five points of damage out of a guy who is, uh, what is at it, that point, 16, be... like, 23 points 23 total? 23 points. Uh, that's looking a little rough. Yeah. That's looking a little rough. Um, and again, every time, like, oh, I'll put an art caster on him or something new like that, the more dice it shoots, the yeah. less likely his ability is going to trigger. Yeah. So yeah, he yeah, yeah. really, he wants the light sick title, um, which puts yeah. him at 12 points. He's a TIE fighter. Maybe it'll fit in. And occasionally he's going to do some reasonable damage. I would say if you were going to heavy sick him, um, you might be better off doing prockets for the one hit and then just rely on your two dice afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, for the price of a spacer, though. Yeah, not not bad. bad. If you're flying a swarm, toss him in. He's the same price. You're not mm-hmm. losing anything. Go for it. Um, next up the list, PS3. At 15 points with an EPT, we've got Inaldra. Yes, and the EPT, I think, is the key thing here, because I do believe it is the cheapest EPT you can feel. Yes, if you heavy, if you put a heavy sick on it, light. or a light sick, yes. it's uh, 13 points. 13 points. Um, I don't know how much that will get you. Nah, neither do I. Um, especially considering we're back to TIE Fighters, and for one point more, you can have a Black Squadron, uh, who's a higher pilot skill. Does it have um, an EPT? Yes, it does. One so, point more. What, sorry, not Black Obsidian Squadron. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know TIE Fighters a lot better than me, too. I'm, I am a scum player. Look at that, I got us some scum. I'm just... He's the sick guy. I'm not the sick guy. Um. Anyway, when attacking or defending, you may spend one shield to re-roll any number of your dice. It feels like a really watered-down Miranda, and not a good yeah. way. Um, the post ray shield, yes. Uh, this is at least during the end action. Yeah. So it's not an action. Yeah, no, it's not an action. So you can, now with her and a cannon, that might not be too bad because, like, with an HLC or something like that, you can get in the range three, eye on yourself, take yeah. the one straight that you don't normally have that you might want to take, and then hopefully take a second range three shot. Or maybe a range two shot with your HLC. Preferably not a range one shot. Though. Yes, if they run up in your face. Because you don't want to be that close. Anyway, because she's PS3 and has like zero. Well, I mean, yeah. she's she got barrel. She does have some reposition. She has barrel. Yes, but she's not going to be. You you want long range, so there's a wider cone mm-hmm. for your opponent mm-hmm. to escape. Um, yeah, not bad. I say you can't do it. She, she, she wants to be a heavy sick. Yes. She can't be a light. Because no, it would it would preclude the pulse ray shield. You can't have it at all. No, no, that's uh did we yeah. Can't oh. install modifications. Then yeah. Yeah, that that sucks. Yeah. That no, sucks. That's a dead sick. Flying. That's a dead sick. Yeah, that's a really dead sick. Even I mean, Academy pilots. So, I mean, realistically, though... <laughs> You're not going to do it. You, you never put modifications but on ties anyway. It's, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it sucks. Yeah. So, yeah, she really wants to be a heavy, so we're looking at... 
I mean, what do we call it? Uh, two points for the heavy sick, that's 17. Two more for the pulse race shield, that's 19. Ain't even equipped a cannon yet. Already yeah. up to 19 points. Uh, I don't and, know. Yeah, you're not going to blow all of this to reroll her measly two dice. So you should go big. I mean, you could use it on your evades, but... I mean, that might matter. In the hypothetical that you're going to fly... No, you're going to go for damage. Swarm, you're going to go go do damage. it for damage. And yeah. you'll probably just still have Sarasu in the background to give you a reroll on defense anyways. Probably. Probably. I mean... Yeah. I don't know. I, I say... Honestly, I say maybe you just keep the one shield. Yeah. Like, j I, just go heavy sick. Don't worry about the pulse ray shield. I don't think it's going to do her any favors. And just treat it like a like a kamikaze pilot. Like, I'm going to do one big, fat, heavy laser cannon shot. Reroll it all. And reroll it all so I can take a focus on that round. Yep. Essentially, have a focus and a target lock. And, and then if I die, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Although, again, it is a lot to invest. Uh, I mean, you still save a point, Cartel Spacer, and you're not yeah. killing yourself. Nearly as quickly. Yeah, well, yeah. We're up to All sixes right. now, I believe, yes? Yep. Pilots kill six. Quinn Jast at 18 points with an EPT. Looks like everybody except the PS1 has an EPT. That's nice. Yes. It's uh, nice we don't have the... The missing uh, pilot skill six, Lantana Shard, does not have an EPT. Yes. But... Which is a bummer. Super bummer. She be so good with Juke. Oh, my God. Um, so at the start of the combat phase, you may receive a weapons disabled token to flip one of your discarded torpedoes or missile upgrades face up. Yes. I think it's not bad. No, this is, of in my opinion, this is the most interesting of the new six. Um, um, yeah, between this guy and the next one, they're definitely sure, the most for interesting. For sure. By, by uh, a lot. But uh, the ability to give him... I, for 23 points, you could put rockets on him and fly in the range one, fire him off, and if he lives, turn around and you got your rockets back. Yeah, it's not an action to do that either. Nope. So next round, you K turn. Can't take an action anyway. Probably not going to get a decent shot. Get your weapon disabled token. Get your rockets racket. Dive, dive back yep. in there. And if not rockets, um, I mean, we've been talking lately, homing missiles homing are missiles. really strong. Homing yep. missiles are really good. And that's, um, homing missiles are five points? Uh, five points. Yeah, so that at that point we're talking twenty five points. Yeah, for a decent ordnance carrier, if you want to call it, um, what twenty six points, mm -hmm. you can put either Dead Eye or Veteran Instincts, and yeah. either of those would be decent ways to yeah. go with Quinn. So, yeah, I mean, not a bad pilot. No, um, certainly not a great pilot. Certainly a guy who will, unlike uh, Sonny, who will occasionally do it. A guy who, if ignored, can deal a lot. Yeah. Damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you if if somebody's got a Quinjast on the board, and you know, like obviously, kind of like the Omega Leader problem. Mm -hmm. Like if you see Omega Leader, you're gonna kill Omega Leader because try to. You don't want him to live to the end. No. Where it's just one on one, he's gonna win. Yeah. Right. So, if somebody puts out a list together that's like Quinn and another credible threat to where the your opponent doesn't really know who to go through. Mm -hmm. Queen could probably do some work. Yeah. How much would how much would advanced proton torpedoes cost on this guy? Uh, they're five. So five or six. Five or six. So twenty five, twenty six points. Throw EPT on him. Throw VI on him. So twenty seven points. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably better off with rockets because it's five dice either way. Advanced proton torpedoes let you change a bunch of eyeballs. Yes. But I mean, you're not going to push the limit on this thing. So no, Lord, no. Uh, not um, enough greens. At least with Prockets, you can take a focus, pop off the Prockets, uh, well, spend the focus on that roll because it doesn't cost you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's good. That's not bad. Yeah. And it, even every even other on round, your, uh, your off turns, you could target lock. Yeah. When you're turning around, you can, you know, there's there's so many things you can do without firing. He's he's not quite Corn Horn. No. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Corn gets too. Corn's really good. Corn is so good. People fly an E-Wing to have them in a list. Yeah. Those things aren't good. They're good. They're way overpriced. All right. Last pilot. Genesis Red. Yes. I mean, it's a cool name. Very cool name. Uh, uh, PS7. Elite pilot talent. 19 points. You, you're you going to put VI you're on You're going to put VI on him. He, so need, he needs VI. Just consider him 20 points. Yeah. And start from there. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Definitely. 
So after you acquire a target lock, assign, a, assign focus and evade tokens to your ship until you have the same number of each token as the locked ship. So that's, you, you want to go last, so whoever you're target locking has already gone, so you could steal them tokens. Why not steal them? Man, that'd be really good. That'd be really good. That'd be too good. Don't, don't do that, Fantasy Flight. <laughs> um, I don't know. He's interesting. Um, it give you can use him to steal someone else's attaining my link, for instance. Well, not steal it. Well, but no, I mean, but yeah, bit, yeah, 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 from yeah. their own. Yeah, the Peritani uh, list flying around right now, where they end up with a double focus on Fenrao. Like, yeah. well, I got a double focus too. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Not bad. You uh, probably want to go heavy. Yeah, definitely heavy. I think um, just because even at tw- uh, eighteen points, though, he's going to die very quickly. Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah. And so heavy gives him slightly more survivability. And if you're going to be stealing someone's attaining my link, double focuses, Gosh. you might as well have a big cannon to spin them on. Do you know what I what I think would have been really nice with this light sick interceptor title? Mm. Is if it's somehow like it doesn't even let you take mods at all. No. Which it's fine. There's nothing you'd really put on a sick. Well, anyway. they're they're expecting you to fly these two people. Yeah. Yeah, the cartel space are generic and sunny oh, bound. Yeah. And that's it. But that's they give but, you six volt for that. Well, six, but not even eight. You can fly eight of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these yeah. jerks. Trying to, just trying to p- push plastic. Um, so the light sick interceptor title. I'd fly a light sick if I could put auto thrusters on. Oh, yeah. And so, like, I mean, think about how good X7 is. Mm-hmm. For defenders, minus, minus two, two points. Well. Yep. Free evade, and they even just nerfed it. And I think it's people are, are pretty. I think people are overreacting because I think so defenders, they're like defenders, they're not as good as they used to be. I don't think it's nearly as big of a hit. It's still pretty easy to like how hard, it's it's hard to stress a defender for crying out loud. It is pretty much your opponent's got to do it for you. Yeah, you spe- know, especially if you're flying counters. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, minus two points, free evade tokens when you're moving fast. You want to move fast anyway. It's that's a really good title. The new uh, Vakasi? No, 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 no. Vakasi zero points. Um, the new Star Viper title mm-hmm. uh, minus three points, and you get curved barrel rolls, which frankly awesome. says, says you must. But that's that's so cool. <laughs> that's so good. Minus two points, you get two more green maneuvers. All your damage cards are face up, and no modification upgrades. Oh, man. So for the way I look brutal. at this, is for minus two points, you've received two crits. Yeah, because you've discarded, you've you you're ignoring cards that you have attached to your ship. Yeah, and you, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just it's brutal. It's yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not aboard. I mean, you know, again, a tie swarm. It's, it's not a great list right now, no. but it's never been a bad list. You could probably show up with eight six and do all right. Probably show up with six six, which is all you're gonna have unless you buy two of these things, um, or you buy six of them for uh, cool looking six. Yeah, we have six. We've got an entire box. Come on down, pick you up, want pick up, pick up six. six very pretty six, mm-hmm. and then probably you never no use longer them. fly a whole horde of six. There are thirty five points. You actually could put six in an epic list. Yes, you could. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Don't you do. Could, you don't could just do that. about put six of these in there. Yeah, that's such a good ship in epic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on light sick. Like I said, you bring six or eight ships shooting bullets at people. Yeah. Probably going to do all right. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Honestly. I think you'd be better off and more fun with TIE Fighters. You'd definitely be better off with TIE Fighters, I think. More iconic, too. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, so. No, no, there's not too much to say about this guy. Genesis Red after you acquire target lock. I feel like Fantasy good. Flight made him in response to mind like lists. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I could, I, I, I don't know if that's like true. Who, who knows what's going on in true, the Fantasy no, Flight true, office? True. But I mean, that's a fair assessment. Yeah. Um. Or, or even to X sevens. Yeah, because you could steal their focus of eight. Yeah. Um. He's a good pilot. I, don't, I don't know how I, how I'd fit him into a list, but I mean, he's a good pilot. I yeah. could definitely see us using it's, him. It's just hard because you're. You're dangerously close to thirty points. If you put if you heavy him up, if you heavy him up, you're at twenty nine points. Yeah, and I don't know. And I like six. I don't know if they're a twenty nine point ship. I'm not comfortable putting. 
like on a small ship, like I'm not comfortable putting that many points on a small ship that can't take something that significantly limit. helps their survivability. Push the limit, auto, auto thrusters, thrusters. Yeah. preferably both, like yeah. Sooner Fell, which Sooner Fell's nowhere near the meta right now. I understand that. But I mean, like that's the kind of ace I feel comfortable putting in a list. Mm-hmm. So he can't take auto thrusters. Uh, I mean, you could put a heavy laser cannon on him, I guess. I mean, even with the mangler, you're at like twenty twenty six points. So it's four for a, for yeah. mangler. So twenty six because you're because you're gonna again you're you're gonna vi this guy. You can't yeah. not. Be, he's begging for it. Um, and at the very least, adaptability. Very least adaptability. Um, so with adaptability, say twenty five points. Maybe. Definitely twenty six. You're, you're <laughs> gonna put vi on. Um. um 26 points. I mean, the bright side is there's, without auto thrusters, there's really nothing good to put on it. Yes. Well, depending on what list you're up against, um, you might actually end up being able to, like, reliably snatch enough tokens to protect a stealth device. True. Because stealth device is good, but, I mean, you don't want to take it on a ship that doesn't have the staying power to, like, defend it, you know? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But I mean, but 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 at that point, that's like what thirty points, right? Yeah, you're pushing thirty points. Um, yeah. And the real question is, for thirty points, you have Finrau with the title. Yeah. Would he beat him? Oh, Finrau would smoke that guy. Yeah. It's not even close. Thirty point list. Yeah. Wait, wait, Finrau with just the title? Because Finrau's twenty nine. Oh well, if it's just the title, no auto thrusters. I mean. What you Genesis use? Red probably could. could depending on initiative. Yeah, I mean, because you, you target cannon. lock, you take either Fenrau's. Well, I guess Fenrau's focus, because Fenrau can't take an evade. Yeah. So, so you target lock Fen. You take his focus. You use your target lock on offense. You mm-hmm. save the focus for defense. I mean, yeah. But he's got you, a could, decent you chance. could put for thirty-three points. Granted, Fenrau can fly circles around this guy just because yes. of the dial. Alone. Just because of that. And for thirty-three points, you have for three more points. And if you're going to invest in a scum small ship, yeah, for three more points, you have him with the title "Fearlessness and Autopilot." Yeah, there's so there's <laughs> there's nothing in this whole set that's that's anywhere approaching Fenrau. Yeah, and that's that's hard point when you get to the top. And even now, they get cheaper faster. Yeah, than the protectors do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can feel cartel spacer for a bottom end, uh, protector starfighter. What do they call them? Concord Don Veteran? Uh, Twice. Concord Don Protectors, I think? I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're like 20 points for yeah. the baseline one. So for 20 points, you can have one of these guys with Mango King. Yeah. But when we get to the top end, with what you're going to want to put on them, they yeah. are f- so still very expensive. The real question isn't... So a lot of scum ships end up being priced kind of weird. Yeah. And so you end up with these like, like oh, I've got I've got these two ships on my list and I've got this weird hole. What do I put in it? The real question is, isn't can any of these guys go toe to toe with Fenrir? No. The answer is no. no. Frankly, a lot of them can't even go toe to toe with Terok, and Terok's not nearly as good as Fenrir. Uh, honestly, I don't like with the Kirax title stuff coming out. I don't think any of these guys can even go toe to toe with uh. Talon Bay. Well, for crying out loud. Talon Bay. I mean, he, he chucked six dice at range one. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, well, no, five. You Which double you your range bonus. Oh, yeah, you put fearlessness on it. <laughs> I don't think I'd put fearlessness on it. But you could. Um, so it's, it's really about, like, the filler kind of guys. Like mm-hmm. like my, uh, that uh, Andrew I like to use mm-hmm. with the cluster missiles and uh, guidance chips. Yes. Uh, was it cluster missiles, guidance chips. I think I put VI on them. Mm-hmm. Probably. I'm making that face. I think about V. I definitely put glitter stim on him. And it's and it's pretty simple. You get a target lock, you blow your glitter stim, you throw two mm-hmm. four dice attacks, it hurts. Does anybody are any of these guys worthy of taking his spot in the list? Or like like removing a a polop or um, you know, one of those other odd filler shit. Probably not. Uh your best odd filler out of the new list, I still think is Quinjess. He's a little bit cheaper. The the turret the tur- or, I'm sorry, the uh the missile. torpedo and missile cycle. Um again, uh just because he can provide for for less points, because you can put prockets on him. Yeah. He can provide a hell of a lot of hitting reasonably consistently. Yeah. Um the real question is if you're going to fly a sick 
do any of the new ones take Lance and Ashara's place? If um, that's your filler ship and you want to fly a sick, because yeah, she doesn't have an EPT. But she is pretty tough to she kill. She is very tough to kill. She's um, a pain in the butt. Yeah, a huge pain in the butt. Um, She'd be so good with Juke. Oh, Never possibly good with Juke. So but, good with Juke. No, she. I'd, I'd actually fly her if she had Juke. No, yeah, for sure. Um, as is, I don't. I don't. Use, as is, I don't fly six. But, at all. but even still, in fact, really, that's the real question. As somebody who doesn't fly six, mm-hmm. there's really not much here that makes me excited to fly a six. No, Genesis Red is interesting. Jast is all right, and for a bottom barrel, like if I had exactly twelve points, yes, totally unupgraded light six sunny bounder would probably do you better than a Z ninety five. Oh, probably, yeah. So, I mean, I guess, so I guess Sunny's Sunny could probably see some use. Sunny's cool. Sunny's, Sunny's fine. Cool. Yes. Um, Quinn's very interesting, mm-hmm. like you keep saying, and I, and I'm not sure if you vi her or. Dead eye her or what you yeah. do. Probably VI. They get her up to an eight. VI. I, I think VI and Rockets would be the best. Yeah, that's um, not bad. And it's not great, but it's, it's not, not bad. great. But that's twenty four points. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Twenty four points. Um, Genesis Red is really interesting, but he's he's starting to push dangerously close to Fenrau territory, and he's just not going to be able to back mm. that up. And yeah, it depends on what you're flying, but it would be worth it to drop. Something a four point thing on another ship, yeah, and put Finn Rao and load it up. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Finn Rao's just really good. Yeah, so he's he's slightly too expensive. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure what I'm excited. I mean, it's it's really it'll be cool to play in a game of epic with a large scum ship yes. or huge scum huge ship. Scum. That um, that's that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and honestly, for 35 points. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It's not uh, bad. It is cheaper than it goes up. It is cheaper than it goes Well, I mean, it better be, because aunties are stupid good. Yes. Seriously. Because aunties are stupid good. You guys should buy a Gazanti. Especially if you like TIE Fighters. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good ship. The Sick and the Sea Rock was good. The biggest problem with the Sea Rock is that it's a, its name is too close to Crocs. Yeah. Yeah. I I I have actually I normally just call it a croc. I do too. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> How do you call that thing a croc? How do you call that thing a sea rock and expect no. people to? No, I think I think everybody's just going to call it a croc so after done. Yeah. Although again, again, this is why we're giving the special highlight to the small ship cards because functionally, I mean, there are some people who are really into epic and they play it a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most people don't. Most people are going to buy this. Sit on a shelf and and really again for for a shelf model. Oh yeah, it does look very. It nice. is a nice model. A little, I mean, the best shelf model is still the CR ninety because mm-hmm. you can put that on your shelf and people know what it is. People know what it is. You put this on your shelf, people be like, no idea. What's that? What? It yeah. was. Oh, it was in a Phantom Menace for like three seconds. Why do you have that on your shelf? Mm-hmm. So I mean, really, you're you're buying it for the small ship cards. I think there's some interesting stuff here. Honestly, like I said, a year for it's. I think Java is probably the best best case scenario. Java is going to be like mine, where a year from now he'll be the meta yeah. entirely. Well, you it know? depends on what new illicits we get going down the road. Just give us another two crew ship that's cheaper than a even that train ocean slaver, man. Even that, yeah. Although, yeah, thirty four points as it's as a starting point. That's rough. It is now. It's he's no good. It is more he's no capable. Power. Yeah, but uh, he's not more pay- capable than. So so, the ship's more capable than a lamb. Yes, by a lot. And seriously, a train ocean slaver, twenty nine points is a steal. Yeah, but Jabba, he's not going to swing a game the same way. Pal oh no! Can. And it's again on a train ocean even, slaver. Even nerfed pal. Yeah. Now, but on a Trandoshan slaver, four or five points, you can have Dengar, uh, Zuckus, and an inspiring recruit. Yep. Yep. So you can flip two dice around. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> like, not bad. I mean, it's not. It's probably not going to win you a tournament, but no, no. But but would you decent at a tournament with it? Yeah. I mean, 
is the extra illicit going to overturn that damage output? No. Not if you're flying six. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about it just, just now. We got this cool job of that car. They're always extra munitions for illicits, and we're going to package it with the... the oh, it can't, it can't, it can't take, one. take one. Uh, is, is it the only small ship that can't take one? I think so. The Kirax can take Star one. Viper can. Star Viper can take yeah, one. Only if that's the title, right? Yes. I think the Star Viper needs the title. I'm, I'm going to check my phone again. This is going on pretty long. We should we should shut up. Um, let's let's check that out real quick though, because that mm -hmm. is important. That is important. Yeah, needs the title. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's fun. Like, oh, we got these six. They'll fly an escort for the Sea Rock, and then we'll put Jabba on it, and he won't be able to do, do nothing. Do any waste five points? <laughs> waste five points. <laughs> I guess he gives the Sea Rock another. Illicit. <laughs> you better give the stupid thing another illicit. It doesn't have an illicit <laughs> slot. The Sea Rock. The Croc. The Croc. It doesn't have an illicit slot. So no. So you waste two points on the Croc. <laughs> to not, to well, that's the, hilarious. I can't believe that just, like, that's the first I thought about that. I just assumed it came with an illicit because it came with Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, nice model, very pretty sick, much prettier than the old sick. The cards are hit or miss, and who knows? Like yeah. I said, six months from now, yeah, maybe maybe uh, an an Aldro will be some sort of OP broken combo from something that comes on the havoc. Or whatever, who knows? We'll see. But for now, I mean, if you're a collector of the game, it's a good buy. Yeah. If you're somebody who likes to play Scum a lot and wanted to get into Epic, well, good. It's the this buy. is your only option. Welcome to the game. Um, but I mean, Job of the Hut. It's cool. He's got a card. Not yeah. super excited. In the future, where's, probably. Where's my Hondo Onaka card? There's so much, so many Scum pilots that we don't have. That. Where's my Hondo Onaka card? Fantasy oh, Flight. Yeah. All right. Cad Bane yet? No, uh, Cad Bane's coming in the, in the have it. Yes. Yeah, that'll be. I am excited about that. We should go, though. Yeah. So, I'm Ryan. Evan. And uh, we're from Tacoma Games, and this is the Sea Rock. They're on sale tomorrow. No, no. Thursday. Well, actually, right now, because that's when the video is going up. Yes. Like, we're doing this literally right ahead now. Ahead of time. Uh, the 8th. Thursday, the 8th. Come on down, buy some Crocs. Which is kind of a Washington <laughs> thing to say in the first place. Buy some, Buy crocs. some crocs. Don't wear them with socks. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>